If you're feeling suicidal, you've come to the right place. Cause I wanna fucking kill myself as well. Fuck you, I hate all of you. Alright, so thank you, uh, Filthy Frank, for uh, that motivational speech. Alright, guys, it's Dalek and Wrath. And today I'm gonna be discussing the GTA 5 Doomsday Heist patch notes. And, um, this update is. I mean, it's not really one of the huge updates. One of the most huge updates were the heist, was the heist update. And, uh, I don't think the Doomsday Heist was, uh, really as hyped as the, um, actual heists update. But, um, yeah, so, uh, let's get into the patch notes. So, first off, what well, <coughs> I want to say that, first, they didn't, like, they didn't just add any, like, new stuff, but... They also added new uh, patch to like the weapons and stuff and um, Lester's ability to wipe a wanted level so like let's say you're um you're wanted like the cops are on you and then you just call up Lester and then he just gets the cops off you it's free once you completed the doomsday heist and you can and you can also save up to 20 different outfits instead of 10 so um basically like you could have more outfits in uh, the game if you want and uh, if you like uh, putting or collecting modded outfits and uh, you could have more modded outfits because me personally I like to have modded outfits because they look cool and um, yeah guys and uh, most importantly are the buffs and the nerfs to the weapons and the firepower and the explosive rounds from the heavy sniper mark 2 now only deals half as much damage but there's a guaranteed chance of setting targets on fire with incinerary ammo and if you guys don't know what incinerary ammo is, it's like fire shells, like fire bullets, whatever. And now it could hold up to 80 rounds of normal ammo rather than 40 rounds. That's a lot if you guys ask me. And um, like that's a lot of ammo. So you could just keep on gunning down people like just like it's nothing. And then you like let's say if there's like a whole gang on you, you could just easily kill them. And armor pe piercing fuck i can't even talk today armor piercing and hollow point rounds are now more lethal and there has been some tweaks to mountain mounted weapons attached to vehicles okay i'm fucking mentally ill so uh basically the new content that they added that we're gonna talk about right now and number one is the facilities have been uh added to gta online and the facilities are basically um what you need to start up the doomsday heist because if you don't uh have a facility then you can't start it up and um what do you call it one of the facilities um the cheapest one is one million two hundred fifty thousand uh so uh, i recommend that you guys could buy it that you guys should buy it and um you could with the facility you could access the doomsday heist and it acts as a storage space for the new mammoth avenger and um basically it's like a vehicle and um players can purchase a facility from the maze bank foreclosures website from a choice of nine locations the facilities can be customized within um a choice of style and graphics optional add-ons such as orbital cannon security room lounge privacy glass and sleeping quarters are also available Facilities come with space for up to seven personal vehicles and has dedicated spaces for a selection of the new fully weaponized vehicles So uh, I think there's like the um, what do you call it? The orbital cannon. I think it's like um, I think cuz I was reading it when uh, I went on to GTA and When I was reading it, I think it's like uh, I don't know like if you want to attack someone or something and uh, I think you just use the orbital cannon and then it just like shoot a freaking missile or something the orbital cannon i think uh it costs like nine hundred thousand. like um when you try to kill someone like the missile thing whatever uh, i think like each ammo of the orbital cannon costs nine thousand nine hundred thousand dollars but 
with the uh, new gifts that they give you for Christmas um, in GTA Online, there's uh, one free uh, like ammo whatever for the Obro Cannon, and uh, you could just uh, easily kill someone with it. But um, yeah, and uh, Avenger, that is like uh, what do you call it? It's like a helicopter slash plane, and uh, it's pretty cool. And you could purchase it from the Warstock Cash and Carry website. And uh, it can be customized with the choice of interiors, like different interiors and stuff, if you want to make it look cool inside. And uh, add ons, just like the gun turret, a vehicle workshop, and a weapon workshop, just like the MLC, the mock, and uh, I mean, the freaking, uh, what do you call it? Mobile Operation Center. And the players must own a facility for before purchasing the Avengers. So, like, if you want the Avenger, you gotta buy the facility first. And uh, the facility is pretty cool. It gives you access to the Doomsday Heist, and you can put the Avenger inside of it. It's pretty cool. And uh, also, there are nine fully weaponized vehicles that have been added to GTA Online. And none of the well, there are a lot on here, but um whatever let's just uh, read it out so there's the mammoth thruster the imponte deluxo the deluxo that is cool i like using it because the deluxo it's a flying car and you can shoot missiles and stuff out of it so and literally every single time i try to deliver deliver cargo or like um import and export vehicles there's always a deluxo chasing after me so like i'm trying to save up money to buy the deluxo and there's a stromberg um, I'm pretty sure the Stromberg is uh, the submarine car like it goes underwater, water and uh, It's pretty cool, but like it's kind of hard to control and There's a uh, RCV the Chernobog the Chernobog uh, you can use it in uh, one of the um, what do you call it? The setups for the doomsday heist and I'm pretty sure it's like the second heist that you do and uh, it's a setup one of the setups and uh, the Chernobog is a uh, guys i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong and um the channel bog is uh, like a truck it drives really slow i mean not that slow but it's kind of slow and um you have to stop in order for like there has to be someone in the back and uh what do you call it the person that's driving has to stop in order for the person to use the missiles and there's a lot of missiles it's pretty op like if you stop and uh let's say there's a whole entire like if there's like a savage or a jet or something a hydra chasing after you you can easily just go like missile them down so they also have barrage the tmo2 kanjali that is literally the best tank ever because it's a tank but um it has access to uh what do you call it the sentry gun because on the old tank there was a sentry gun that you couldn't use but uh, now there's a sentry gun and more people could go on to the tank and behind like in the back there's two grenade launchers but um sadly you have to buy ammo for it or else you run out and uh what do you call it the missile thing uh that it shoots out it's like a laser i don't know it's like an electric thing and you have to charge it before you shoot it and uh also there's an akula the volatile and uh there's a one optionally weaponized vehicle that has been added to GTA, the Pifster Comet Safari, and five high-end vehicles have been added to GTA. So there's the, the, the new, uh, what do you call it? The new cars in Legendary Motorsport, like, and these are what they're called. The Ubersmat CSC1, the Vapid Riata, the Ocelot Far Paria, the Class A Yosemite, I don't know if I'm saying these right guys, the coil and the coil rating and six mark 2 weapons have been added to GTA online the next thing I'm gonna buy is the the mock the mobile operation center because I want to upgrade my guns because there's usually people that try to kill me whenever like I'm trying to import and export cars and do my missions and stuff so you know I always gotta get them and these are the mark 2 weapons the pump shotgun mark 2 special carbine mark 2 marksman rifle mark 2 heavy revolver mark 2 bullpup shotgun no bullpup rifle Mark 2, the SNS rifle Mark 2, and over 20 new items of clothing have been added. 30 new tattoos have been added, and 26 new face paints have been also added to the game. 
and there's new features for um slash updates for ps4 xbox one and pc and there's eight new achievement trophies have been added to gt online a new radio station and who cares about the radio station but i'm just gonna say blonded los santos 97.8 fm they actually have some pretty good songs i listen to it but that's because uh you know i had nothing to do in life and uh i was just waiting there and uh yeah there has been the battle axe had been moved from the DLC weapon wall to the melee weapon cabinet in the ammunition store. The font of the information used for GTA Online shards have been updated, and the font used for anniver adversary modes. God damn, I couldn't even talk. I can't even talk. And they are now in your current team's color. The number of outfit save slots has been increased from 10 to 20, as I mentioned before. Uh, the uh, wanted level is now free. The simplified Chinese have been added as a new language setting to PC. PC players, if you're Chinese, there's a new language, whatever. And the uh, players can now control the doors of the personal aircraft via door control interaction menu. In the interaction menu option. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So they fixed uh, a couple of issues with the... Uh, the MLC's turret and uh, like some of the what do you call it like how some stuff f continues like functions and most of these are some issues with the MLC and uh, they also fix the issue um what, what do you call it when people get stuck on a black screen when launching into transform races and uh, you know like just some uh, pretty simple stuff that like has been happening in the game before and uh they finally patched it so uh yeah guys that's all for today and these were the doomsday heist patch notes and um yeah guys so if you did enjoy this video and if you were informed be sure to like comment and subscribe and peace